This is my friend Josh. Building a keyboard is fun. I'm having so much fun. You're having fun. I'm having fun. Hi. He knows basically nothing about building keyboards. Nope. Oh yeah, it's blue. But he's decided that he wants to build one of his first custom keyboards. With the help of one of my videos, he bought all of the parts for a keyboard. Sure did. And he brought them here all the way from Arizona to have me build it for him. But what he doesn't know is that I'm forcing him to build it all by himself. By myself? All by yourself. No. It's a puzzle, right? Well, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna walk him through how to build his first keyboard, and I'm also gonna walk you through how to build your own first keyboard. So, stick around. So the first thing you need when building your custom keyboard is your custom keyboard. Now, Josh decided to choose the Zoom TKL. You might choose any other keyboard, but ultimately it doesn't matter. It's mostly based on preference. So find something that fits in your budget and go with it. And then just make sure it's hot swap. Please just make sure it's hot swap. What does that mean? That means you can swap the keys out without needing to desolder. And then we're gonna get our keyboard. First, we need to move the NOLA to unbox a keyboard. Sorry, Nola, we, we need to unbox the keyboard, but there's a head scratch. And then we've got the keyboard right here. I get a little bit too close and personal with Josh here. So what do you see? I don't know. What, a, what are your first impressions opening up a custom keyboard box? Make sure it doesn't have any defects. Uh, does that say that? Y yeah. So we're gonna inspect it for any appearance defects. That's fine. And then here are some things that you might find in your custom keyboard. A plate. This is where you're gonna put your switches in, kind of. A PCB. This is where you're gonna put your switches in, kind of. And a whole lot of foam. If your keyboard doesn't come with foam like this, then you might need to mod it yourself, but that's okay. Who cares what else is in the accessory pouch? Wait, I, I care actually. That's for you. Let's take a look at this bad boy right here. Oh yeah. It's blue. What are your first impressions? Is it heavy? Oh yeah, it's blue. Is there, oh, what's, what's going on with the back there? Ooh, it looks like you might have to install a weight by yourself. No. Yeah. Please no. That'll be easy, don't worry. Don't, that's the easy part. That's the easy, th actually this is all the easy part. First we need to prep your board. So let's take the board out and let's set it down. No, like outside of the case, come on. All right, perfect. All right, Josh, first thing. Hey howdy, Draft Tech here. Did you know that Hippio just released a new song on Spotify? Check it out. Wow, that sure is cool that he did that. You better go check it out with the link down below. Oh, yeah. What do I do with that? Those are stabilizers. You need to lube them. Uh, I see you've poured them out here. Do you have a strategy for this? <laughs> no. Do you even know what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, okay, what are you doing? It's a puzzle, right? Well, I mean, kind of, yes. I grouped them. Great. Now what? Now you need to lube them. <sighs> by myself? Yes, remember the whole by yourself thing? Now, I will actually help you out by giving you this handy dandy thing full of lube from Kinetic Labs and, uh, and a brush that's somewhere in here. This is Crytox 205 grade zero. This is a thicker lube that we're going to apply lightly to the stabilizer housings and wires. I say lightly because if you over lube them, they're gonna feel like sludge. Also, if you under lube them, they're gonna feel like a war crime. Pick your poison. Here's how to lube stabilizers. And I'll make this very quick as it's a little bit boring. First step, get some form of lube like Crytox 205 grade zero. Put it on your lube palette in little lines is kind of what I like to do. If you don't have a lube palette at home, that's probably normal actually. Not many people have a lube palette at home. Now that you've gotten an even layer of lube on your brush, you wanna take your stabilizer housings, which are these guys. Housing. And then you just wanna shlaba laba 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 all along the inside. Laba 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 laba. Now we're gonna do that with every single one of these housings. Okay. Does that sound fun? No. What? Wait, Bil yeah, yeah, yeah. Building a keyboard is fun. It's fun. Bil building a keyboard is fun. I'm having so much fun. You're having fun. I'm having fun. So next thing's next, these are little stems. You want to take the stems and put them in the housing. You see how there's a side that has two holes on it? And then you want the two holes to face this, the that little clip-in part. This. Yeah, just like that. All right, now do that for everyone. My hands are getting very lube. Your hands are getting very lube? So it's time to lube the wires. All we need to do is take this little wire and give them a healthy glob of lube on each 
wire side. How? How? With the crytox. There's a couple things you can do. You can take this guy, you can just dip him in here like this, and then you can fix it with a brush, or you can just brush that about that much on yourself. You decide. On myself? Yeah, you do one side at a time, and then you insert it into one little guy. Uh, actually, you wanna make sure you get lube right in here too. Oh. Because this little edge right here is gonna be making a lot of contact. Now that you've done that, you take this guy. I'm not supposed to be helping you. I'm not supposed to be helping you. I'm cringe. Oh, you ruined it. Cringe, 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 cringe. Okay, take this guy and you put him in. But you have to go in from the bottom. And then it'll clip into the top. Right oh. There. I the, did it. The feeling when you lube your first stabilizer. Why are you struggling so much? Ah! I did it. You're done. You did it. You lubed all of your stabilizers. I'm lubed now. Okay, now go wash your hands. Okay. You're so dirty. <clears throat> I bet you can hear him washing his hands right now. Do you hear the sink running? Leave a comment. Leave a like and comment right now. Okay, now it's time for the, the fun part. The can actual... I have the chair? No. Please? I want the chair. I'm older than you. <laughs> That's true. I, I need it. I've got worse knees. So now that you've got your lube stabilizers, you need your PCB. Why do you need your PCB? Well, you're going to have to install foam. Why do I need foam? Well, you need foam to make your keyboard sound more dampened because you don't want to get kicked out of the office with your keyboard being too loud. Oh, okay. Also, if you add foam to your keyboard, it'll sound subjectively better. Wait, why are you smelling it? Ew. Does this smell right to you? <laughs> Wait, it kind of smells like ramen. Ramen PCB, ramen PCB. Oh God, don't drop it like that. <laughs> the PCB on the Zoom TKL is hot swappable, meaning that we can replace the switches without needing to solder, because <clears throat> soldering is disgusting. That is a lot of foam. Smell it. I'm not gonna smell it. I'm not gonna smell every You're part on out. your keyboard. What am I missing out on? It smells like roses. <laughs> Trick ya. Bro, don't smell it. First, what we have to do is apply our first layer of foam. Now, what's our first layer of foam, you might ask? It is the poron switch foam. Whoa. We have to put this on because this goes beneath all of the switches and the stabilizers. It fits. Yeah, it fits because it was perfectly cut to this board. If your board doesn't come with poron switch foam, don't worry about this part. If you want a similar vibe, then you could do a PE foam sheet and kind of put your switches on top of it. Now, you have to put your stabilizers in. What? You have to, you have to oh, put your stabilizers in. Oh, these things. The things you just spent forever. Wait, they go in here? To install your stabilizers, get the hair off of the stabilizers. Okay. And then you see how there is a big hole, big hole. and a little hole? Mm -hmm. This is a stabilizer spot. The clippy part uh -huh. is gonna go into the bigger hole. You're gonna want to hold this part and flip it over because you have to screw them in. Do I get to use the wow stick? Ooh, you sure do! <laughs> wow! 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 Yeah, we got all of the stabilizers installed, so now it's time to move on to the next step. Now, the next step in this case is to take this foam over here, which is gonna go in between the plate and PCB, and we're gonna plop her down. There we go. Now, you decided to go with a polycarbonate plate. What is which that? Which is a great choice. There's a bunch of different plate materials, but polycarbonate, in my opinion, tends to sound the best. It's also the most difficult to work with if you don't have foam in between your plate and PCB, but in this case we do, so our life is good. Yeah. So next, all you're gonna do is plop this bad boy down. We could screw it in with standoffs, but in this case, it doesn't really need it. We've got switches. And wait, we've got switches, right? Right, Josh? Oh no. Right? Yeah. Did you get switches? I think so. Where are the switches? Where are the switches? Um. Where are the switches? They're not on the desk. Look at me, where are the switches? I don't know. Nola? Hi, hi baby. Do you know where the switches are? Oh, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're saved. Uh, why did you go with these switches? You told me to. In my video, right? Y yeah, after carefully weighing my options, your video told me to get these blue ones because I like blue. Wait, you got blue ones? I didn't know you got blue ones. Let's test them. Live reaction. Yeah, actually, these are pretty good. When buying keyboard switches, there's really no way to know which one you're gonna like if you haven't tried a lot of them. 
Now, you could just go to your local Best Buy and try a bunch of keyboards, and th that might give you a general idea, but there's tactile, linear, and clicky switches. In this case, we've decided to go with linear switches that have been lubed from the factory. Why have we done this? I don't know. Because lubing sucks. Oh, yeah, that. And also nowadays, a lot of switches are getting good enough that you really don't need to lube them yourself. Like these switches from Wuche Studios, the same people that made this keyboard. All we have to do is put these switches in our keyboard. Stop! What? Putting switches into a hot swap board, you need to support it from the back. Anytime you're hitting it from the front, you gotta support it from the back. Give it a shot. You don't want to force it, force it, because if you force it, force it, then you might end up with bent pins. You, do you need some help? No, I don't need help. Are you supporting the hot, you're not actually, you don't actually have a finger on the socket. There you go. And now kind of, you can kind of pull up the plate like that. There you go. And you did it. I did it. That's your first switch. Okay. Now I recommend you start with the corners as it'll make your life just a little bit easier. So let's go. It's switch time. And now, it's time for the last switch. It's time! Put it in. I'm putting it in. Ugh. Ugh. We're in! Oh god, you don't take that out of context, actually. Don't take that one out of context. Stop it. Drop Stop it. Get, Get some help. help. Please. Please. First, we need to put on the gaskets. You remember back like five minutes ago when you said, screw all the accessories, I'm ignoring all the accessories? Who cares what else is in the accessory pouch? No, I would never say that. Yeah, well you actually needed them. Uh oh. Uh. Oh shoot. These are sock gaskets. They kind of look like noodles. With these guys, literally, all you gotta do is just you slip them on. Slide them on like you would slide on socks. It's that easy. But then you get this guy and you slide him on like this. Anyways, there you go. It's that simple. That's Put on your gaskets. Cool. Here, look, I'm gonna do some magic, ready? Next step is to take this mystery box that we haven't opened at all yet uh, and open it. But now the Zoom TKL has an incredibly incredibly beautiful weight that has the potential to make your board look insanely amazing. It's pretty hot, right? Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Wait, can I do the peel? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can see myself. Hi, mom. Wow, that's beautiful. Don't get any fingerprints on it. That would be <laughs> cringe. Oh, I would never. Okay, next, we actually want to put this last little bit of foam on. Okay. Then, all you have to do is place this little top bit back on and screw in, boss. We're on the second to last step, screwing the case back together. And then, we get to talk about the keycaps. The most exciting part for Let's some of go. you, maybe. For some of you. Screwing content. Screwing content. Don't take that out of context. Looks like the last step is keycaps. Nola, please don't eat the cable, please don't. Hey. Please don't eat the cable. Keycaps. So what keycaps did you pick? I got whale. Whale? PBT so, whale. Polycaps? Yeah. From yeah. Kinetic Labs? Exactly. Oh. Wait, 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 what's wrong? This just isn't what I was looking for. Wait, what do you mean? This doesn't look good. Like the color or the font or? It's just not gonna match well. What, what can I do about this? Uh, maybe it matches too well. I, I need so help. So wait, what you're telling me is, you bought your keycaps, mm -hmm. and it turned out you actually didn't like them? Yeah, yeah I did. Now imagine if you waited like six months to a year on a group buy. Now, this is a very oh. important keycap buying tip. Keycap tip. When looking for keycaps, try and find something that is relatively affordable and in stock. Group buys are like Kickstarter, and if you go for a keycap group buy, you're gonna have to wait quite a long time. Also, you might not like how they turn out after you've spent money on them. And that hurts a lot more if Josh would have spent twice as much on a group buy than just Polycap's whale. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, he's in the house of a keyboard YouTuber, which is something that hopefully, you never, hopefully you're never in my house. I am. But you're, you're allowed. I am. So I'm gonna go into my closet and I'm gonna help him out. All right, now in my closet, I've got a ton of different keycaps. What he's gonna need is a keycap set with quite a lot of white in it to make for a good contrast with that dark of a case. I'm gonna go with this set that I bought literally ages ago called like GR Irish. It's a white keycap set with red and black accents. Here you go. Thank you. Hopefully this saves the day. Now put put your other keycaps out of the way. Get that out of my face. Ooh. Oh what man. What do you think? Does this save you? I think this saves me. Have we saved the day? This is gonna look good. Good, I'll send you the bill on Venmo later. Um, wait, what? Woo! 
All right, let's put them on the board. Yeah, woo. No take backs. Oh, no. That sounds really good. Ooh, nice and poppy. Docky dock. Woo! Now we put on the rest of the keycaps and we can almost be done. Yes, I can go to bed. Building a keyboard. Woo! It wasn't honestly that bad so far, right? That was horrible. Wait, what? Just kidding. <laughs> We're done. Woo! Hold on. Let's touch it. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It was worth it. Oh my gosh. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> Why is there always Star Wars references in these videos? 